into a dollar sixty. The money keeps coming for Crazy Diva. She has been beginning really well of late in the four hundred. See if she can replicate that here. She'll be a chance of getting across Sutton Daisy. Set to go. Away. She went to anticipate the start too early there, Crazy Diva, and she missed the kick, and Sutton Daisy's got the lead. I tell you what, Hot Rocks is nice and handy. Crazy Diva's got some ground to make up, probably too far back to catch them behind those burning glow. Here comes Hot Rocks, looms up on the outside, goes to Sutton Daisy and takes over. Crazy Diva's still trying to make some ground behind those was burning glow, but Hot Rocks takes over, looking good around the bend, got clear by a length and a half, two, two lengths in front of Sutton Daisy, and Hot Rocks is too good for Sutton Daisy. Crazy Diva was third. She missed the kick. She went to anticipate the start before the uh, lids open, and that cost her. And Burning Glow was at the tail end of the field. The run was around 31.41. One, two, four. One, two, four. The judges' numbers. One, two, four, and six. And that was a, a pretty good jump by Hot Rocks to be so close at the start. Looked really dangerous there, getting close to Sutton Daisy, and he was too strong over the concluding stages. A fawn dog, January 2019, Emily Carlos had a dream choice. Raced by Josh Mabarak and Vadim Roz, the winning trainer. Went a, a good uh, win at Angle Park two starts ago over the 5.30. Comes back here to Gawler and grabs first prize. And there was a bit of money for it. Did get out to five dollars fifty on the fixed or six dollars at one stage, but paid a lot less on the tote. Hot Rocks three dollars fifty. No place pool. Sutton Daisy number two, second, third, number four, Crazy Diva, fourth, number six, Burning Glow. Quinella one and two, six dollars fifty. The exacto one and two, five dollars fifty. The trifecta one, two, four, seventeen, forty. The first four, one, two, four, six, sixty, six, seventy. Hot Rocks.